Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Hi everyone, I'm back. This is back, we're back. It's all going on. Now I've got a bamboo table which I ordered because I knew it'll look just like the one I used in Sydney. And it's really great because this one is actually quite a little bit bigger. So once I've figured out the tripod and the lighting and all the different things, we might even have a little bit more screen real estate here, which will be great. Probably today I've got it set up much like how I had it in Sydney. And yeah, we're just about good to begin. It's so funny. I had to stop and start this introduction a couple of times because there have been four sirens going down the high street. It is busy and noisy and what you're going to discover is we're not going to have the beautiful bird sounds and you know the kookaburras and the cockatoos and all that lovely stuff. We're going to have the occasional siren, we're going to have the occasional maybe some yelling and screaming I don't know <laughs> this you know but this town has become a lot more quiet actually uh, that is one of the things I have noticed. I've been away for three years and I can tell you that it has become a lot more quiet and I am actually very much enjoying that. Another thing that happened during my travels was, now I, I don't know if some of you may remember my little Ganeshji statue, right? And I've, I've photographed him a couple of times sometimes I film him uh, by the way I'm not wearing my usual ring I've misplaced that somehow it's somewhere I know it's in the apartment somewhere I just I don't know where I put it so as you can see I'm still settling in still still figuring it all out but look what happened here an incredible thing happened and I remember I pulled him out of the suitcase and he just he just looked like this I, I, I didn't know about these bits I forgot about them and anyway I'm looking at him and I'm going what's different why does he look so different and as I was unpacking my bag I was blown away by this look at that his mask came off because I knew I was thinking when I looked at him and I thought gosh isn't his trunk normally blue and I thought what what's different here and I discovered this piece and I discovered this little piece as well and yeah I think there's something really symbolic here possibly for some people in the audience I don't know but look at that his mask came off and one ear fell off as well now it's so interesting I don't know if I want to glue this back on I found some super glue recently <laughs> which I may need to use to repair something else, but I don't know if I want to, I feel like I want to take this off and just have him completely bare. That's what I would like. So I don't know if there's a message in here for one of you out there or, you know, this is something just to contemplate. Maybe your mask has come off. Uh, I thought about this for me has my mask come off what have I been hiding you know and yeah I've probably gosh we've all got layers to shed don't we so you know and I'm trying to get this off I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do I, am I going to put this back on am I going to take the other blue bit off I'm not sure stay tuned for that but that is something really interesting uh, that happened on the flight and I have flown with him a few times and this has never happened and there's no reason for like he was in amongst clothes you know like soft fabrics I, it's very strange that this came off so maybe something about the atmosphere up there some glue came unstuck or something I don't know but yeah um, that is quite interesting so maybe we'll we'll put that over there the other thing that I came home to was a book that I had ordered um, I ordered this book maybe a couple of years ago and I remember thinking gee Amazon has done a terrible job of getting it to me you know but they they got it to me they got they got it here and I thought I'll use this as an oracle when I get back 
and uh, you know I opened it and I f completely forgot I ordered it and then I remembered oh yeah I thought they got lost in the mail or something so I decided to use it as an oracle I just wanted to open up randomly and just to see okay what would come and the first thing I read was this and this book it's the teachings of Dwaj Kul and any of you who have seen channelings by Zach you will know all about this wonderful uh, being or this, this wonderful consciousness. And I read this, which I thought was so incredible. These are the first words I read as I came back home. It says here, I would say with all conciseness, A, know thyself. B, proceed slowly and with caution. C, study effects. D, cultivate the realization that eternity is long and that which is slowly built up endures forever. That, that line, that was the big line in there that just, oh, I, I loved reading that because yeah, I, I agree. That which is slowly built up endures forever because I do feel like my channel is taking forever to build. <laughs> you know, I've seen people who they start in like within a year, they've got 100,000 subs and, you know, a million views and all that. And I'm kind of thinking, wow, mine, t mine takes so long. But, you know, that's actually a very good thing. I don't think I have the energy to deal with too much more than what I'm doing anyway. E, aim at regularity. F, realize always that the true spiritual effects are to be seen in the exoteric life of service. Yeah, definitely. And G, remember likewise that psychic phenomena are no indication of a successful following of meditation. It goes on. Uh, this is a really beautiful book, but what I thought we could do, I've got so many fantastic books in this apartment and every now and then we can use books like this as an oracle. I think that would be a really fun thing to do. We do have quotes in the jar. These are from Sydney. I have been meaning to replace them because I feel like this is old energy and I don't want to use it. But as it happened, I've completely run out of time because every spare moment, so I'm either, readings are on, I'm doing readings, work is happening as usual, so that's good. I'm either doing readings or I am cleaning and organizing because as you know, um, you know, I've misplaced my ring and I'm trying to get organized in here. There are so many cupboards and drawers and things that need dusting and attending to and I'm just kind of catching up on, on being organized. So we'll just use what's here in the jar, but I'm hoping that this weekend I'll get a chance to completely redo it and yeah I've got these samurai quotes that I want to put in there so I've got some really nice things so stay tuned for that there will be a new jar but at the moment we'll just use what we have we'll see who knows and in honor of our sparkly Ganeshji I thought let's use some sparkly objects hang on you can go there there we go let's use some sparkly objects so group number one you can choose you can have this uh, key try and zoom in on that this kind of fake diamond key <laughs> this not real <laughs> object uh, what have we got here this beautiful flower I have all kinds of cool things like this in my apartment because I used to make this thing called organite one day we might do an organite special we might use those as an object and three could be this little starfish see if we can zoom in there all right so it's a long intro today I hope that's all right so those of you who like the intro you've got an intro here today but uh, feel free to choose from your group group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one or this beautiful key look at that you hold the key something like that yeah there we go. Then you are in the right place. Now, I have no idea what we're doing today. Let's see. Let's just do what I always do, which is make it up as we go along. <laughs> All right. So, and I think we do have some more screen real estate here, guys. As I said in the intro, I'm trying to work out um, lighting and I like to use natural light. The window's there. 
I had it positioned slightly at a different angle and the lighting was terrible so um, yeah let's let's see how this goes I think this is probably the right kind of lighting I can also sort of improve the lighting in post editing that is a possibility now you guys know this deck the Ganesh G deck because we are beginning we are beginning again and it's very important that we honor Lord Ganesh G I've also got this deck here which is really cool it's the Diana Diana Diane Diana Dan Cooper if I figure out her name I'll put it on the screen these are her unicorn cards so this is a deck that I would have bought many years ago it's here in my uh, place so yeah you're gonna see some new decks because I do have all kinds of interesting things in here which I'm just discovering it's so funny you know how like you have an old winter coat and you put it on and you find like five pounds five pounds or something in there oh that wants to be here let's take it um, you find like five pounds in the in the coat pocket well me coming back to this apartment is like that times a million <laughs> it's like oh look at all this cool stuff I have that I completely forgot about all right let's take a look first card oh nice empowerment yeah third chakra yellow this is power this is your it's a time for you to power up it's a time for you to be confident, to believe in yourself. You know, great start. Group number one. Oh, oh, this is nice. Rainbow. We've got a number twenty-six there. There's a rainbow beyond the clouds. Okay. Maybe if things aren't great now, you have to know that, you know. There's something very wonderful for you on the horizon. So try to feel that in the now. And that way it'll be brought closer to you. Aha, yeah, heal the ouch. Okay. Yeah, group number one. I do feel like you are going through something here. Let's get a card from... Saturn and then we'll kind of clarify these with what else do we have here okay we've got all of those let's see what Saturn has to say it feels like um, there is some healing in order healing needed I do know that with the community as a whole some of you have gone through some really tough stuff over the last I would say three to four months so yeah let's see what's going on let's take that all right the seven of pentacles okay so you are you're being given some time to pause is how I'm going to read that okay the seven of pentacles is is a card where we stop and assess life we stop and assess life and we assess do we like what it is that we're building okay you're stopping you're assessing do you like the life that you are creating it's just a time to reflect on that just you don't have to do anything but it's a, and it is a time of being honest really really honest with do I like this do I like the life I'm creating around me because it feels like you know that there's more and that there's it's I'm getting a vibe I just had the thing come into my head that yeah um it's just gone out uh it's like something's I, I had the word happy something about happiness it's like yeah it's like kind of like your happiness is always over there but it's kind of not where you are and I feel like this card has come in to say power up and go and get it right that's the big thing that's going on with this card this is the third chakra this is the powerful person 
this is the I am presence. I am, I can, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go out and get it. You know, that's what a good strong third chakra does. A good strong third chakra won't just be standing here looking at the pot of gold. And it's so interesting. I don't know if you can hear that car engine in the background. It's revving up. It's loud. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a motorbike going down the road. Okay. It's like the, the strong third chakra person, they don't just stand here and look at the pot of gold. They're actively, they're moving. They're going to get it. Heal the ouch. But you see, and that's the thing, if you... If you are recovering from something, if you're healing from something, yeah, you might not. And I've just got in my head, you might not know the next steps of what to do, how to go and get it. There's a bit of like a stuck feeling here. And it's an interesting one because you drew, you've got the key. You, you do have the key. So there's something... And that's really here with this. You've got the key. That's the third chakra. That's the, I can do it. I'm going to go and get it. I'm not going to just stand here. I'm not just going to wait. But okay, let's take a look into this. Let's see what needs healing. Heal the ouch. Okay. All right. Should we take them? Are there too many? How many are there? There's three. No, let's shuffle. <laughs> let's do the third chakra let's shuffle properly right because third chakra yeah would probably an empowered third chakra would want a proper shuffle it's like no put them back and do a proper shuffle because we want to get the energy of this all right that's poking out all right judgment maybe you feel like you've been harshly judged Yeah. And maybe you're wounded from that. But do you know for sure that you've been harshly judged? Or is that just something that you are telling yourself to keep yourself stuck? Yeah, you might not know for sure. Interesting, we've got a number 11 here and we have a 20. So this could be... It, yeah, there is something of mastery here, and it could be to, in connection with one other person. Let's take a look. At, let's get one from here. I want to dig into this some more. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that siren. It'll be interesting in editing to see what comes up in the sounds, because these are supposed to be relaxing, aren't they? <laughs> Page of Swords. All right. Interesting, because this is a card of learning, but there's some mastery here. It's like hmm, you're mastering your internal self. And maybe you're yet to learn something about the external world, or you're yet to learn something about, if you think that you're being judged, you're yet to learn the truth about are you really being judged? Sometimes we judge ourselves harder than anyone else possibly can. That's true, actually. My mum always told me that... <laughs> she tell me? Yeah, she always told me that no, one, no one's really looking at you, <laughs> which was great, and that was much needed. And I'm talking about this in reference to... Um, I think... Uh, I can't remember, but this is going to sound very silly. I'll tell you anyway. Because it's silly, but it's, why not? But and it's an important thing, though. I, I think I was going to the beach with a friend, and I was really worried that, and this is so trivial and so silly, but I hadn't waxed my legs. I know, crazy, right? But, and I felt really, oh, you know, self-conscious. And, and anyway, my mum told me, oh, don't worry about it. She said, just go on the beach. Nobody's looking at you. <laughs> and she was right. And it's like, so many things we think. And I know that's a very stupid and trivial example, but does anyone scrutinize us as much as we do ourselves? I, I don't think other people do, you know, I, I don't think other people judge us 
uh, as much or as harshly as we judge ourselves. Let's have a look and see. We'll keep going with this. And then maybe we'll dig into this and just see what's the empowered you calling you towards. Because there is something incredible on the horizon for you. And it's waiting. It's not going anywhere. But it's kind of waiting for you to do something. That's how I feel anyway, because you have the key. All right. Key to in the fifth. Distance from partner or children. Later in life becomes spiritual, has mastered creativity. Yeah, we've got a mastery number there, 11. Becomes a humanitarian. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe you think... Now, this is, you know, maybe you think a partner or a child of yours is judging you, but they're probably not. Probably not. Now let's see, let's ask about the empowered you. What's the empowered you up to? And then we should get a quote from the jar. So you've got the key. You're empowered. And what's being said about this situation? Oh, Ketu in the sixth. Interesting. You've got two Ketus here. That is very, very interesting. So it's a very spiritual kind of a time. We've got another siren in the background. Gosh, I hope these come in the recording. Otherwise, you'll <laughs> you probably think I'm crazy. Uh, they're just in my mind. Let's have a look here. K2 in the six. Best position. Yeah, look at that. No enemies. Look at that. We were asking about this. What's the empowered you feeling and experiencing? Best position. No enemies. Intuitive powers. Recovers quickly. Fame and authority. May lack morals at times. Okay, but this is this is the empowered you. This truly is one of the best positions Ketu can be because it's a suppression of problems. Okay, so this can be Ketu in Virgo. This can be Ketu in the sixth house. Any of that. That's all wonderful. I think we're doing great with this reading group number one, aren't we? <laughs> yes. I think. I think. You know, and, and it's just about what, what do you want to create next? And you, you're assessing, you're figuring that out. You've got time. There, you know, there's no rush. You've got time. All right, what's in here? I'm worried about what's in here because I was reading all those Chuck Spitzano psychology books, wasn't I? <laughs> all those um, relationship type books. Oh, good, we've got some Stuart Wilde. What's he saying? Uh, I do love those Chuck Spetsano books, but yeah, I, was, I, I overdosed on them in Sydney. All right, let's see what we got here. You are here to experience life, not to escape from it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that's, I mean, if you've got your Ketu here in the 6th, you'll have your Rahu in the 12th or in Pisces, and you will be, you know, looking to escape uh, the realities of life. I mean, could your being hard on yourself be a form of escape? Yeah, definitely, right? So that's that. It's like you gotta, you gotta go, go to the whatever it is. Just to seek your fortune as well, right? Uh, I am serene and balanced, whether life is perfect or not. How wonderful. Yeah. And I mean, Aketu in, in this position here would expect perfection, want perfection, be into perfection. Possibly, you know, you are a perfectionist. Some, yeah, this, there'll be some pe perfection thing going on here. Uh, but the trick is, see, why does Virgo have this big connection with perfection is because it's usually sitting in chaos or difficulty or you know it's, it's it's Virgo that brings the perfection or that creates order or perfection in in mess right because this world is a mess <laughs> it's just it just is and yeah something about your energy which is going to bring order to chaos 
And the more I spend time with these energies, the more I feel like it's not hard for you to get empowered and, and do what it is that you want. Group number one. Well, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. Thank you for being so patient with me. I disappeared for a while. But, you know, sometimes us readers, we do need to disappear and recharge. And, well, I haven't been recharging. I've been extremely busy every day. But um, thank you for bearing with me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two or this beautiful flower with its fake diamonds <laughs> they're all fake <laughs> all three groups fake diamonds fake gold but very beautiful right? it's all illusion anyway so you know what's real what's real in a world that's full of illusion not a lot <laughs> um so if you chose this then you're in the right place now let's take what are we taking we're going to take a Lord Ganesh Ji card and we of course on a Lord Ganesh Ji when we begin something and I feel like I'm beginning this all over again because I've never done a pick a card in this space in my apartment never done one before I have watched so many of them before leaving I think it was in 2018 or was it yeah 2018 2019 I spent half of the year in Sydney then too um, but yeah, I I watched a ton of them in here. And I remember some of the readings I watched were just so exhilarating and oh, they just had me on the edge of my seat. Sometimes Amanda Ellis did she would do these beautiful readings sometimes. I used to really like them. I was like, wow, how does she do that? Now I get to do it. <laughs> All right, so let's Take one of these and see what is going on. By the way, for group number one, I didn't um, have high res filming on my camera. So yeah, I've got I've got it set high res for you guys though, so that's good. All right, let's see. Reflection, nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh look, and we've got a bit of a reflection from the window there too on the card. Yeah, look at that. And from different angles, the light shines differently. It appears different. Number four, so it's a really stable number. This is good. Okay. This is a, a card set you, you might not have seen. This is this from my um, collection here. All right, we've got help here. It says number 12. The help you need is on its way, so keep watching for it. Okay. Lovely. Rock bottom. Okay, number 10. Right. And I don't know if you can hear, there is a siren sound outside, but you know, I think that's going to happen in this location <laughs> a little bit. I probably won't, that won't be a... Um, an omen because there, there are far too many of those um but interesting rock bottom okay let's take a look let's get one from saturn as well and see what's going on i do know that some people in the group i think i mentioned this in group one as well i mentioned the fact that there have been some tough things that some of you guys have been going through over the last you know three four months and i know there have been quite a few bereavements as well uh within my client base and yeah just you know I've been hearing that around some of you have lost people and know that it takes time to heal from that you may not feel yourself for a while but that's okay you will you will in time king of swords right well now he is quite strict and disciplined isn't he the king of swords he is not emotional and he is strict mm, he's not emotional not at all he's disciplined he's strict he gets on with it he does his work 
maybe that's one of the coping mechanisms that you turn to when things aren't going right. Maybe you put yourself into your work. It's interesting. We can't see that card when it's put it closer here. There we go. We can see it now. Um, let's take a look. Which way do I want to go? Where do I want to explore here? It's interesting I put him up here as well. Reflection. Mm. Let's let's take a look at rock bottom. Where do you feel what where might you feel that things are rock bottom? Have you hit rock bottom? You might be fearing that is is it is it, is it are things gonna get worse? You might be fearing that. You might be fearing, you know, a, a things going to get worse. This card has come, I think, to say it's it's not getting any worse. So don't worry, uh, is is the message I'm getting there. But let's take a look. All right, that's poking out. Rock bottom. Wow, the wheel is turning. Okay. So the wheel is turning and Oh, and it's spinning as well. Gosh, yeah, there's movement in that card. Okay. The energies are very interesting here. The wheel is turning. Oh, all right. Nine of swords. We're seeing it. We're not going to choose it though. We're going to shuffle. But we've seen it. Yeah, the wheel is turning and, uh, which is what I thought, things are going to get better, definitely. But that Nine of Swords did pop up. We did see it. And it's like there is some anxiety or there's some... There's something you're going through here. So let's take a look. Why have you needed help? Why have you needed help? Queen of coins. Okay. Not getting anything straight away. Why have you needed help? help recently. You might have needed financial help. It's a possibility. And that's a lot of people right now. So you are not alone in that regard. Yeah, three of coins. I do think, yeah, it's, it kind of feels like you might have needed some financial help recently. But I am getting a sense that you have hit your rock bottom. The wheel will turn. Things are going to improve. The money will flow better, it, 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 but it's just, there's just something you've had to learn here and it feels like what you've had to learn is really just connected in with discipline. So I do think this is, yeah, some financial help has been needed. And the way to avoid this in the future is just to be more disciplined with habits, with spending, be a bit more conservative, right? We've got the King of Swords here, using your head a little bit more than your heart. And I think this whole situation has come to give you time to reflect. And what are you reflecting on? Let's, let's have a look at that. Let's, I know we'll go with this, this deck here. What are you reflecting on? But yeah, I do see that this is some kind of um, possibly financial something or other here. But let's take a look. What are you reflecting on? Mercury in the fourth. Nice. That's lovely. So we've got him Mercury in the fourth house. Loves music, fine arts, is very witty, commands respect, 
Father is self-made, travels frequently, excels in education, mother influences career, solves conflicts. Great. It's interesting, mother and father have come up, and it could be that a mother figure has helped you financially. That's possible as well. It doesn't have to be, though. But I think what you're doing here with reflection is I think you are reflecting on your skills, your gifts, what you're really great at. How you can use those more, how you can enjoy those more. And maybe that life be more about your, your skills, what you love, and less about um, engaging in the material world. I think there's something like that going on here. That's interesting. Let's take, I want another unicorn card for this reflection and Mercury being here. Let's see. Oh, closeness. Yeah, it's kind of like you're looked after, right? So even if you get yourself in a pickle or a problem, right? It's like you, you're always going to be looked after. Something is always going to come in and help you. You're always going to find a way through. You're always going to figure it out. You're always going to get back to this place of totally enjoying yourself. You're always going to do that. And perhaps it's just a little bit of this King of Swords energy is just needed to keep you balanced and going strong. That's all. I'm not seeing it as being anything more than that. It's just, yeah, something about you becoming a bit more disciplined with your time, with your energy, possibly. Look at that. That's so sweet. Look at that little girl there. Oh. <laughs> And I love these roses, you know, this is a beautiful scene. And you know, life is about this. Life is about just being, you know, it's not about all this other stuff. Yeah, and see, creative people, that's the thing, like, loves music, fine arts, is very witty. When you're very creative, you're not so much thinking about or concerned with financial things or bills or worldly stuff. Yeah, I know, it's... Um, I was just chatting with a friend yesterday and yeah, he was talking about all these things and yeah, a really brilliant artist. But yeah, he's having to juggle a lot of things financially. So many people are at the moment. Look at that, you've got a flower here as well. Wow. Let's get a couple of these. See what's in the jar. The old energy of a different continent. Let's see what we're <laughs> pulling out. Regardless of how many I pull out, I am gonna, I'm gonna empty that and we're gonna have new stuff in there. Gotta have new stuff. All right, let's see, let's see what we've got. All right, we've got Chuck Spezzano, what's he got to say? I've got hit one of his decks right here actually, so we'll tuck into that maybe next week. Uh, let's have a look. You could have success instead of what you have now if you were to stop investing in the ego's competition. Ooh, the ego's competition. And we've got the King of Swords here. And yeah, something, yeah, it's like, this. To, to me, this is something to do with the material world. This is something to do with ego. It is. Let's see. And this here, reflection, is your heart and your soul and what you know is most important. Uh, ask yourself intuitively what is the gift I have within me that I could now accept and share yes the gift and the sharing of it are the key to your success absolutely and you know that I think and that's if you can just work your life in such a way that you are Cutting out distractions. See, you can use this King of Swords to do that. You're cutting out distractions. You are giving yourself more time to reflect. You're giving yourself more time to indulge. 
in skilling up, in becoming finer and better at what you do, it's kind of like you need some more time and you need to develop yourself and enjoy that process. That's a fun thing to do with your time. There's something about the King of Swords, like clearing the space and giving you time to do what you love. Love is a quality of attention, a way of focusing on someone. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, when you love someone or something, you focus on it. And it feels like you need to focus more on your skills on shining on giving of yourself right the mask came off see and i did know i felt like this was a message for some of the artists or something in the group about you know share something of you with the world let's take one more <laughs> let's be greedy because we have plenty let's get a small one is that a small one yeah <sighs> Things going to cut out. All right, let's see. All right. Bravery is not the absence of fear. Bravery is the ability to operate effectively even while totally terrified. That's good. Yeah. Yes. And I feel like what, whatever you went through here, this would have been scary because look at that. You're calling for help. You've reached rock bottom, you know, but you were brave. That, that's why this has come up. This has come up to say that you might not think you were, but you actually were brave in whatever it is that you went through here. You did a very good job. And you did this. You operated effectively, even while you were totally, you know, you might have been scared witless, right? We've all been there. And, but you managed to operate and continue and persevere. And that's really the best anyone can do so group number two you're doing great i'm getting a lot of confirmation here that you're doing really 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 well and it's just a reminder don't be hard on yourself you know yeah another reminder don't be hard on yourself all right well let me know how you got on in the comments below i would love to hear from you Thank you for bearing with me. Apologies, I've been away, but I'm back now. And I'll figure out the lighting and the everything. It'll all figure out. I'll also figure out what time of day to do this as well. Um, but I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three or this beautiful little starfish then you are in the right place put him next to the Ganeshji we've got the Ganeshji deck which I will shuffle from just had to go and put on some socks my feet are frozen <laughs> but I am doing good whoops okay Right, not very good at shuffling these big, massive card decks. Okay, there we go. And the unicorn cards, look at that. So we've got some new decks here in, oh, all right, well that one wants to be here, so we'll take it. Got some new decks to share with you. So you'll see some other ones as part of the collection. I really have to stop buying card decks. <laughs> I don't have room for them anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna, well, I've reached a natural stop anyway. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Of course, we're honoring Lord Ganeshji first because we are beginning again. The beginning, we always Honor Lord Ganeshji. Ooh, sustenance. Nice. Now that is a beautiful looking feast. Looks like samosa. Samosas? No? Yes? Looks good. <laughs> All right. That's good. Seeking good. Right. 
Look for good in your current situation. Mm. What do we have? 27 and the number 9. Okay. Interesting. Balancing act. Right. 11, mastery number. I've never seen this. this card before. I'm just looking at these, they look like rose petals, they also look like little hearts. There's a ship there on what looks like, I don't know what that is, is that like a, a ball of water, a drop of water, a marble, a crystal, crystal ball? I am not sure. Fascinating. All right. Let's see what Saturn has to say. This is my Saturn deck. And actually we'll position the card here because the light is so dim here that we can't see what the card is. So I'll position it here. And I'll take all the cards as upright. All right, we'll take it. Fell out. Four of Cups. Okay. Four of Cups can be a card of. It's typically seen as being boredom, right? So it's like, you know. You've been presented three cups, you're like, oh great, here's another one. <laughs> you know, it's like, yep, all right, seen it. What what else is there? <laughs> you know, and we've got him here. Look at him. I mean, is, is he is he bored? I'm not sure. But now what's she doing? And you know, the other thing we've got here is like, is she stringing someone along? Because there's a string there. But why? Okay, let's see. Let's see all, all these different things coming in. We've got his sustenance, which I'm loving because that looks like a party to me. <laughs> that looks like just good food and a lot of fun. So this is a great card. And maybe that maybe that is what's going on. That actually things are very good in your world. And but yeah, there's something like you're a bit bored or what's next or... So I think this is kind of representative of abundance. Maybe you're enjoying yourself. Maybe maybe life is very good right now. That Life is very good. But you're wondering what's next. But, and what's next is being presented to you, but it's not very exciting, maybe. And the universe is kind of saying, well, I just had the phrase, this is as good as it gets, come, come into my head. That's a good film that I, I watched with um, Jack Nicholson's great film. I love that film. Yeah, what, uh, this concept of what if this is as good as it gets. But is it? I always think things are always getting better. I don't know. I don't... I don't that concept let's see where do we want to explore i want to explore okay what what's what's she doing what that that is interesting because we don't know what's on the other end of that string there so let's see if we can find out some more information about that what is this balancing act what are you balancing what are you balancing at this time it could be like, you know, you're balancing work with love life or something like that because we do have these hearts here. Okay. Oh, the wheel. We had the wheel earlier. Okay, the wheel's going to turn. What's it turning to? What's going to click into place? Next. Is it going to be another another boring cup that you don't really 
you don't really want is that what it is and what could that be representative of the next job the next you know i don't know the next opportunity the next thing what's the wheel turning to the wheel, the wheel is turning oh he's upside down that's all right page of wands and this is the page you know what i love about this deck it's what is it with these illustrators Look, this is supposed to be a child he's got a beard <laughs> it's like, what's going on okay it's like you light a match on a new adventure because this is fire energy and this is a child so if we're looking at a journey you are going to begin something exciting and new fire is exciting we love fire right so you are going to begin something new good what is this new thing let's take one more from here all right what yeah okay we, we, we lit the match and, we'll, and what are we starting here Right. Oh, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Some kind of delay. And I kind of, I'm just getting the feeling that you know this, you know, like there's always some form of delay in your life. It's like there's always delay. All right. Let's get some more information about this. What, what is this next thing that has been presented to you or that... And this, remember, is tying in with this seeking good. So we've got, you know, he, he's, he's not looking too enthusiastic here. So let's see. What is this what's next thing? What, what cup is being presented? What is this? judgment whoa interesting I'm getting a sort of fearlessness here actually with this judgment card because I'm kind of getting well yeah come and judge me <laughs> you know I'm getting that kind of energy oh and I don't know if you can hear that we've got a helicopter above hmm okay it's like, yeah, come and watch me, come and judge me. You want to you wanna judge me some more? <laughs> um, all right. Let's take a different deck. <laughs> what else is going on here? So that's what, maybe that's what keeps perpetually happening. Maybe, but who's judging it? I'm kind of thinking the universe. Is the universe looking at you? Is the universe judging you? All right, what is this? What are you, what's... Age of Cups. All right. Mm. That does feel like it's kind of um, to do with love. Yeah. New beginning in love. I don't know, maybe you're getting a lot of offers or something. Maybe you have a lot of people interested in you at the moment. and But like... Um, or maybe there's just a lot of interest or something. Something like that. This could be interest. Let's dig into this seeking good thing. <laughs> Let's see what's going on there. And then we might draw a couple of... Actually, we'll just follow that thread. One more and then one here. How about we do that? one here all right and one here okay let's see see what comes put that to the side there okay mercury in the second 
earns through public speaking or finance, logic built on teachings of family lineage, religious, philosophical, becomes rich, shrewd with money and thrifty. Okay. <clears throat> and maybe this is some confirmation of maybe what you do or that you should be doing more of this kind of thing. I know we've got a lot of people in the audience here who you run your own YouTube channels, you're wanting to start your YouTube channel or you're wanting to share your wisdom, you're wanting to start a blog, you're wanting to write, write books, all that kind of thing. So, yeah, you are meant to be doing that. Seeking good. Sun at, wow, sun in the 10th. Yeah. Oh, well, this is one of my favorite stars. Success in all undertaking. Winning, strong, happy, famous, intelligent. Has money, power, children. Loves music. Acquires ancestral wealth. Magnetism. Yes. Seeking good. Wow, well, I mean, if he's got this going on here, why is he deflated? I don't know, he doesn't look very happy. Is this a gratitude thing? Do you need to be more grateful? Group number three. Because there's, it's, it feels like there's a lot of good in your now. And it feels like there are things that are due to come in, into a line for you, but, but there are delays on that path. And it's like, and it's, it's kind of like the beginning of love. So maybe this is the kind of thing where a lot in your life is very good. Maybe a lot is quite solid. You've got a lot, you can build a terrific career right so but maybe you're and it's like a love thing maybe you don't you don't have someone right now it's that kind of thing i feel like and i think that's coming in for you because we've got that here but it's like there's an, there's another delay it's like the, the the match is lit and then things happen but then there's delay something like this and that's okay. That's, that's the way that is. For now, right? These things keep, keep changing as well. Uh, let's take a look and see what quotes we're going to have from here. This is very interesting. <laughs> oh, we've got some Chuck Spitzano here. Good, good relationship stuff. All right, let's see. Unfortunately, the lengths to which our ego will go to prove that we are the most special one leads us into suffering as much as it brings us to the glee of winning and proving that we are the undisputed best. It is solitary, separative in its own world and others are seen as pawns. Wow. That's deep, yeah. Mm. This is really interesting in light of all these cards. And this is something you'll need to contemplate on. Have you been, is this why some of this boredom is setting in or yeah, interesting solitary separative in its own world and others are seen as pawns wow that's one to pause and and think about in light of these cards because i'm getting close to the end here of the memory card and i want to draw a couple more of these but definitely contemplate on that let's get a couple more quotes and then i'm going to have to wrap this up okay what's in here your dark stories have never made you happy though they may give you what you thought you wanted the most common payoffs are independence rebellion hiding and indulgence wow that is incredible in light of these cards because we've got this kind of in as I was saying we've got this kind of indulgence card here we've got this look at that the feast right the most common payoffs are independence, rebellion, hiding, and indulgence. And we have this thing like boredom and, you know, what, yeah, leading people on or something. Look, I'm not saying you're leading someone on. I'm not saying that. But 
let's have a look here. <laughs> let's, let's just see what we've got because this is interesting. Your dark stories have never made you happy. Though they may give you what you thought you wanted. The most common payoffs are independence, rebellion, hiding and indulgence. That is fascinating. What I'm getting here is it feels like ego is running the show here a little bit. Um, and that's why you're possibly bored or not happy right now. So this is a thing of being happy with the little things being happy with and that is seeking good did i say earlier that there, there's a gratitude message in this card of seeking good there is it's kind of like the ego wants more and more and more and will chuck things out and be like you know the ego the ego can keep receiving like the most amazing things right you, you know you, you get i i don't know what type of thing well i was just watching this vlogger and she showed all these outfits she bought and all this fancy stuff that she bought but I was amazed how like yeah it's like what's next what's next what's next it's like people keep receiving things and then they keep chucking them out they're like you know they think they want a better one or it's that there's something like that going on here and I think one of the messages here is I like this, the appearance of this hanged man, because this is like, stop and just treasure the things that you have. Treasure what is in your life. Treasure the small things. Treasure the little tiny things. And treasure your family. You know, um, sometimes we're in a mode or a mood of, and people do this with friends, don't they? They're like, oh, God, I don't like these friends. And you keep chucking them out and you go, you know, give me a new one. You know, and it's like, but it's like, no, treasure the ones that you have. You know, you probably have the best of whatever it is that you need. And you do. You've got, I mean, this card came and confirmed all the abundance that you have in your life right now. So there is some kind of ego thing. And that ego, my, is it, it is. That's what Chuck Spezzano is all about. He's all about showing you how ego is is trying to screw it up for you, really. You know, ego is just, is there to delay you, is there to make you think you're not getting the best. You know, ego is there to, um, to trick you and to trap you and <laughs> to make life, to make, to make, it difficult for your soul to grow and shine that's what ego's job is ego's job is about survival and is about convincing you that you know this world is bad and we're all doomed and it's all gonna end and you know, survival it's all that survival stuff and you don't have enough and the other people are better than you and all of that all right let's see what's in here Preserve your energy. Do not waste it on mediocre activity. Oh, I like that. And this could be tapping in here. This could be that, all right, well, you know, maybe you're a bit dissatisfied or unenthused or a bit bored right now. But some of this is under your control and direction as well because you can direct your energy so you might be directing it in mediocre ways and achieving mediocre results that are not pleasing to you or something like that so change your energy focus on better things you know um yeah there's definitely something like that here focus on better things lift your game what what can you lift in terms of how you spend your energy or what you look at, what you like, what attracts you. This was on the table, so we might as well. <laughs> uh, the function of abundance is not to possess things, but to use them and gather experiences. Yes, absolutely. 
everything that you're doing, it's all about experiences. We don't take any of this physical stuff with us. You know, and that's the experience I had of coming back to this apartment and going, wow, look at all this stuff I have. I actually, do you know, I came back and I was just like, I loved it. And I, but I feel so different because I've lived with so little for three years. I've just lived out of, out of a suitcase really for three years, you know, and been building my business. And I've come back to this place and it feels heavy. I've got just so much stuff. I just feel overwhelmed with stuff. And we don't need much stuff. We really don't. Um, yes, yeah, so that's one of the things I'm looking to do to get organized and do some clutter clearing. But guys, this has been so much fun. Uh, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. 